what is good guys and girls if i haven't shown you guys how to take this arm right here off well right now i'm gonna show you guys how to remove it it's basically that knot right there and this side right here so let's get started So what I usually do in places like this, uh, suspension parts mostly, where there's no uh, like any rubber around or anything that can melt, I use the uh, torch gun, and then I'm gonna heat that out so it can come out faster. And that's a 90 millimeter by, by the way, okay? Just like so for a few seconds, just like that. It's getting hot in here. All right. After heating it up for a little bit, we're gonna use a wobbling head like that. You guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna use that to connect to the 90 meter miller because this right here is on the way, the exhaust thing. The muffler, I think it is, yeah. So we're gonna try to do that with this wobbling head. All right, you boys and girls, I have to use a pry, uh, piece of tooth in that guy right there, this wrench right here, with a 19. And I was able to get the bulb out, my light. Like, I think I need new batteries for this light, but anyways, it's out. And then you can also lift this a little bit, like, like this. It it goes, it goes up a little bit and gives you enough room to get the knot out. I could probably also do that and use the the gun when I'm installing it back. But yeah, so far that's what I what I have out. What I what I have done so far. And now we're gonna work on this guy right here. Usually, if that pin doesn't come out, I just got it and then take it out, the whole thing. But we'll see what happens. So now let's work on this side right here. And that guy right there. Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside right now? It's 27 degrees outside. 27 degrees guys. <laughs> I just end up ripping those apart. It doesn't matter because we're not gonna use that part anymore. So now let's get it out. All right, that nut right there, it's a 19 also. I just gotta hit it with that, with the help of Thor, the hammer of Thor, num num, <laughs> to get it in there because since I didn't cut those, uh, that pin, so I just gotta hammer it down a little bit. So now I'm just gonna hit it with the help of Num Num again to get it loose, All right? So, and then if you use this wiggle head, you can do it on the side with the, with the impact gun. That, that one right there, go on, show yourself. Yeah, do you want? That's whatever, you know. It does the trick, so that's what it matters. And it's out. Completely out, guys. Look at this thing. All busted. All busted and destroyed. Look at that. Check 
cara oh iya yeah. ntar alright into the new one alright so to get that nut in there it's really simple just fit it through there make sure that this is online and And then just lift this a little bit, this guy right here. And that will give you plenty of room to get it in there, right? And now tie everything back up. So after you tie everything up, I use the impact gun to tie that up. And that's also tight right over there. So don't forget to add a pin, get a, a new pin, and then just add it there on the, on the hole. Can you guys see that? Make sure you align that so you can have the pin in there and that hole right there. Let's try to see if I can add it. While, while having you guys with me. Uh, I might need to find a smaller pin I'll be right back all right my beloved people it's time to I can really see let's try to see through the camera <laughs> I couldn't really see so yeah there it is it's in yeah. right there so now we're just gonna twist it see what can get up there Let's go ahead and twist it. And that should be it. Okay. All right. That is twisted. Make sure that that bolt right over there completely tight put your tire back on tight it to spec the tire make sure that you do it if you're using a what's it called uh, impact gun make sure that you also tie it by hand making sure that all of them are tight before you drive it because you don't want to crash somewhere or lose a tire while you're driving right Alright you guys, so after you install the tire, make sure that the lock nuts are completely tight. Don't over tighten though, because you might break them. And for the ones asking, it's the same procedure for the other side, the, the part that we just replaced, that I show you guys. For the passenger side, you might have better clearance on the other side. And it can take the job really simple, but follow the steps that I show you guys and should be, should be pretty easy to get it done all right all right so this will conclude the video you guys thank you for watching like and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace out people hey guys chris fix you <laughs> Yeah.